All right, guys. Hey, welcome back to my channel really quick. Once again, um, I'm between, I just got home from work. So I have like dry shampoo and like my skincare on. I just really quickly wanted to do before my sleeping pills kick in here, um, which by the way, are just Unisom and melatonin and magnesium. It takes a lot, even though you're, I get, I work so hard and I'm so tired. I still just like can't fall asleep. It's been a, I worked night shift for 12 years and raised all my kids and no matter how sleepy I am, it's so hard for me to sleep at night. So anyway, so this is a L3 order. This is the pre-order that we just did, that we just got. I just received it today. And then that small RTS, um, well, mine was small. Um, and so I thought I'd just bring them to you guys together. So I'm going to do the RTS first because that's what I have sitting on the top. Um, and it's not very big at all, especially for me. Um, let me just see because, you know, you get samples. I only ordered five different things. And the I got this really cool sample. Oh, dang it. I was going to use this in the shower today. Um, I got a body wash sample in her Liana's Lullaby Warm Vanilla Sugar. Ugh, dang it. I was telling myself I was going to use that in the shower today because I love this scent or that mix. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it's definitely like that baby magic scent and warm vanilla sugar. Really nice. So I'm excited to use that next time I shower. And then I have not opened the samples yet. Here we go. You know how she usually does three samples. Eh, sorry for the crinkling. Um, this first one is Pretzel Bakery Bomb. Probably not going to like this one because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of pretzel and I'm not a fan of Bakery Bomb. Nope. Very yeasty burnt cookie. Uh, white Woods in this little jack-o'-lantern. Hmm. That's nice. That's like almost like a vanilla musk woods. Ooh, that's pretty. I'd like wear that in a perfume. That's really pretty. Huh. That is surprising. I like that a lot. Um, this next one is Peeps Candy Corn Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale in a little jack-o'-lantern. Woo! That is sweet. I get candy corn for sure. Then Sugar Cookie Royale. Then like Peeps and then Zucchini Bread. Wow. That is like a candy corn sugar cookie. I mean, I think I could enjoy that every once in a while. That's cool. That's very sweet, <laughs> but really nice. Um, and so first up in my RTS, um, I I just begged also for loaves of this because in um, Jennifer put up the loaf request uh, post in her group. I have had a loaf of this. It's almost gone. And then I got, she had put these shapes up. I saved my, oh, here it is. Let's say I saved my packing slip on purpose because these shapes were new. These were the pumpkins and leaves shapes. There's no price on here. I could have sworn they were like $3 something cents. Um, but they're pretty hefty. Um, and there's no weight on here, but I'd say that they're around three ounces. This is the leaf. Um, pretty big. And the pumpkin's pretty hefty too. So winter snooze, um, is icy peppermint, herbal lavender, and chamomile, chamomile. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed the loaf that I have. Um, I have like maybe a sixth of it left and I am savoring it. There is something, I think it's the chamomile that makes this really special. Um, it really makes the peppermint like pop out the lavender in here. So I have a nose that really likes like really strong lavender. So I get it in here, but it's not super strong, but I really get the chamomile and the icy peppermint. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I have, so I have the tiny bit of that loaf left and then I have these two shapes and I just begged for more loaves on her loaf post and I hope she makes it because this is a very special scent. If you're a minty person that also just likes chamomile and a little bit of lavender, those are both there. This is so just gentle and amazing to go to sleep to. And it always throws for me and it's very, very nice. So I'm excited to have these two shapes. Wished I would have ordered more as usual, but here we are. Um, this next one is a two punt, two punt, two bunt pack in black pepper bergamot books and leather. I thought this sounded interesting and different. Oh, that's nice. See when the leather's too strong, I'm not a fan, but 
Oh, this leather is nice. You can definitely smell the leather, but I would say the books is the strongest in here. Books, leather, and just a touch of like black pepper bergamot. This is so nice, like especially for like a master bedroom. Oh, I really like that. I love the way that she blended the leather in there because it's there, it's apparent, but it's not overwhelming because that can be very overwhelming. Huge fan. Um, this next one is Santa's Sleigh Ride. Brandied Pear Cranberry Pomegranate. So, let's see. I haven't smelled this one. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That is like sweet and sour almost. It's almost like if you had like a pear cranberry pomegranate like gummy candy with this sour sugar crystals on the outside. I like that, but it almost smells like, like a New Year's Eve scent. It's very festive. Mm. The brandied pear, though, there's just a touch of spice in that brandied pear that does bring it back around to almost holiday. I like that. That is like, that's a very fun, festive scent. It's almost like fizzy because it's so fun. I don't know how to explain that. That is nice. Very cool. I could definitely buy more of that. And this one, um, I think these loaves were new, a new shape for her too. What did she call these? Um, nope, that's the pre-order. Harvest cakes. And I went online to go buy more in this scent and they're all gone. Um, this one's called Laundry List and it's Spearmint and Sweater Weather. I don't think I've had Sweater Weather from her. Um... And sweater weather oils vary a lot, so we shall see. But look at that turkey. It's so cute. These are pretty big. And I love this. Um, I get the spearmint. It's almost like an herbal spearmint. Oh, gosh, I love sweater weather so much. Her sweater weather is the less, it's less like Bath and Body Works. I love Bath and Body Works sweater weather. Love it so much. Like it's addictive to my nose, but can also like really assault my sinuses. So the, oh, this is so good. This is like very, a gentle sweater weather with a very gentle herbal spearmint. I'm going to let it cure a little bit. So it's a little bit on the quiet side, but it's really, really nice. Um, I definitely want more of this. I actually put this on the loaf request as well. As well as, um, I did Winter Snooze, Laundry List, oh, and one of the pre-order ones I'll tell you about. So anyways, that was all my RTS. Now let me get into my pre-order. Um, I'm going to do, so my pre-order was not very big compared to especially the last pre-order, and I did that on purpose. Um, I don't need to buy as much wax. I only really went for the ones that I was like, I really want that, and I want it for a reason, either because I've never tried it before, um, and it sounded really good or I've had it before and I know I love it. Oh, now I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> um, okay. So the very first one I want to, well, let me just talk about the scoopables because I got, she did the small scoops. These are the four ounce scoops. Um, I got five total. Oh, good. Okay. But two of them are the same scent and this is La Llorona. If you guys know the story about La Llorona, it's... I watched the trailer of the most recent movie made and I could not watch it because it's about the woman at the, the lake or the river. I mean, it kind of depends on where you grew up, um, that takes your children. And so I can't watch that movie, but it smells so good. Um, so this is one that like when I first started buying from L3, I got a sample of it and I loved it. And then I didn't see it again for months. And then I think I got it in like a bunt or something like that. And I loved it. And then I kind of forgot about it. Then like over the year, like a couple of years of buying from L3, I really learned that I love her rainstorm scent. It's a very like wet spring floral kind of scent. Um, and so La Llorona is seaside cotton rainstorms and forest air. Um, so, so good. I definitely very first get rainstorm. So if you're a rainstorm fan, you will love La Llorona. Um, I do get the seaside cotton adds like a fluffiness, a softness to that, that makes it a little bit laundry and then forest air truly makes it outdoorsy because so does rainstorm, but in a little bit more of a rugged way, this is like, it's, 
It's like you're discovering a new world that's never been touched before. That's just how fresh and renewing this smells. And it's a nice, strong one. Um, I almost wish this scent was in the large scoopables and I would have still gotten to. This is the third scent that I went and requested on her loaf request to please make. Um, this isn't specifically a fall or like this is a year round, fresh, beautiful scent. That rainstorm, if you smelled it before, it does lean floral. Um, but I don't think seaside cotton or forest air does it to my, in my opinion. Um, but it's, oh, it's beautiful and it performs so well. Um, this one I actually have in my melter right here next to me. And I just thought this one sounded good. This is Crypt Keeper and it's adipose, funnel cake, and orange peels. Adipose is her like marshmallow blend. And this is so unique. Um, and that's part of why I'm melting it right now. The orange peels, it's almost like a candied orange peel, which I love. I really like her funnel cake oil because it's not spiced. To me, I don't get much funnel cake in here. There is like a sweetness, but not really a bakery. It's almost like it's that straight up sugared orange peels and adipose. This is so nice. I almost like almost for some reason smell chocolate, like orange chocolate, which I also love. Like those, the orange chocolate oranges that you like whack at Christmas and you eat the segments. I don't even like chocolate and wax, but for some reason, it almost smells like that. I really like this. Now, I don't think I need any more than this little scoopable, but I'm really enjoying this. And maybe like every year when she offers it, I'll get a smaller amount in it just like this to enjoy it. Um, my dad, my that raised me, he would get us those chocolate oranges every year for Christmas. And for some reason, this smells like that. And it's a really nice memory. So I'm happy to have that one. It's throwing really well right now. This next one, I almost melted this one tonight because I'm really excited about it. A, the color of this wax is like so stunning. Oh, blue. Um, this one is called Hatchet. And this is black tea, flannel, uh, Bath and Body Works type, fresh picked blackberries. I love flannel, black tea, and fresh picked blackberries. Oh, you guys, how did I only get one of these? I knew I would love it. First thing I get for sure is fresh picked blackberries and then black tea. The flannel's in the background, but it's there. Oh my gosh. I could, mm. This is, how is something like, I think my mouth water. The fresh picked blackberries are making me hungry and my mouth water, but then like the flannel in the background smells like such a sexy man. It's like making my mouth water also. This is like to die for, in my opinion. Oh, it's a, it's, so it's more of a fruity scent, but then there's tea and flannel. I don't even know how to like what category to put this in. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I will be melting this soon. This is one I'm going to have to be careful of, like where I melt it in case my kids knock something over. But I hope there's going to be um, pre-order like over pours because I need more of this. Maybe I'll ask, maybe I'll request for this one too, because that's amazing. And then the last scoopable I got is Hell House. It's a pretty cool color too. And this one is chestnuts, brown sugar, fig, vanilla, butter, cream. So I thought this was going to be more of like a bakery sweet kind of scent. Second I put it up to my nose, I was like Bath and Body Works brown sugar fig. For sure. That is in here. 100%. With maybe vanilla butter cream added to it. So I like it. I just... My brain thought this was going to be like a gourmand edible scent. And maybe it would be if my brain doesn't like identify it as a Bath and Body Works body care scent. Which I like that. I, I liked that scent. Um, when did I have it? Oh gosh, I can't remember what year that was. But I liked this um, when the weather was cooler. Uh, I definitely couldn't wear it in the summer. So it's a very dense, sweet scent. So I'm happy to have this because I actually missed that sense when I smelled it. It was like all these memories like, whoa, that is chestnuts and brown sugar from Bath and Body Works. Um, so really nice. And I'm happy to have that one. Oh, samples of this, the pre-order. Let's see. Oh, and I did get a spoon, but I think I put it away for my scoopables. It was a silver one. I think, yeah, I think 
think I already put it away. Okay, this first sample is Mr. X. And it's starfruit, mango, bakery bomb, and crushed blueberries. Nope. That smells like a blueberry starburst new. This next one is Feliz Navidad. I smelled this before. There's something like woodsy. Like I swear I, oh, there's like a dog hair on there. I swear I like almost smell like coconut, like mahogany coconut or something. That is interesting. I wonder what is in Police Navidad. And then just Vanilla Bean Noel. I don't need to smell that one because everyone knows what that smells like. Vanilla Bean Noel. Okay. And then um, I have never gotten these from her, but she offered these brittles. I think they were six ounces. Maybe she has it on the label. Oh, it says average weight 2.8 to 3 ounces. I don't think so. Maybe. It seems like more than that. But um, so this is called this first one. They're in these really cute little bags. Um, this is called Virus. And this is a deadly good concoction of Bartlett pears, pineapple, mac apple, strawberry, and just a hint of cinnamon. These two scents I got in completely like different scents that I've never smelled before. Mm. So let me just show you like it looks like that inside. So maybe, I don't know. It seems like more than 2.8 to 3 ounces. I'll take a piece out. Just like different colored wax. It's kind of spooky, freaky. So this is a deadly good concoction of Bartlett pears, pineapple, mac apple, strawberry, and hint of cinnamon. I feel like I'm definitely getting pineapple and Bartlett pear with a touch of mac apple and strawberry. I'm not smelling any cinnamon. This smells like an end of summer, like juicy fruit. Yeah, interesting. I tried something new. I wish it had a little bit more like apple and cinnamon in it to make it more fall. But it's definitely like a juicy end of summer scent. So, I mean, it smells really good. It's just not what I was expecting. And the other one is called They're All Gonna Laugh at You. And this is pumpkin spice, toffee flapjacks, and buttercream frosting. I was a little scared about the flapjacks because I don't like maple scents. So, oh, whoa. Pumpkin spice, toffee. Okay. This is like buttercream frosting spread on like thick, sweet flapjacks that are pumpkin spice and like caramel drizzle over the top. That is, I will be saving because there are some days when I, every once in a while and I can only melt it for a couple hours. I crave like super dense, sweet, like tooth aching bakery. That is this. And so I don't have a ton of it to get through, but I have some. Is this the same colors? I don't know. But same kind of brittle. Anyways, yeah, that is like very, but it still is like a breakfast cinnamon maple. That's very interesting. Or cinnamon buttercream pumpkin spice kind of scent. Very yummy, edible, edible, edible. And then I just got two loaves, you guys. One of them... I've talked about before and I really enjoyed and that's why I was happy to see it offered and I bought a whole loaf of it. Um, oh, I have my two stickers to show you. I put them on each one loaf. Um, so this first one is called Pazuzu. I think that's how you say it. This is Bonfire Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Apple Cider. Um, I had purchased this in one or two uh, Bitty Betty loaves and really, really liked it. And it was in this actually same exact color. Oh, and I just love it. It smells exactly like it. I get apple cider first and then it's kind of hard to decide. Do I get like a pumpkin bonfire or like a pumpkin pecan waffles first? I think the pumpkin pecan, pecan waffles and just a touch of that bonfire. This is so good. You would think with those notes, it would be like that's fall, but it's not quite. It's a little bit different take and it melts so well as far as throw. Oh, it's so good. Um, definitely one I'll be getting every single year. Um, the sticker that came with this order, it says, some days you just have to create your own sunshine. So that's very, very nice. I love her stickers. 
And then the second one I got, I got a loaf in it, never smelled it before, still haven't smelled it. The sticker on this one, this is from the um, RTS, is some days you just have to create your own sunshine. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Same exact thing. Okay, so this one is called Masks. And this is apples and peaches, zucchini bread, and vanilla butter fudge. I just thought it would be something different to try, apples and peaches. Um, and then zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge. So like sweet, savory, bakery, apples and peaches. Oh. Huh. It almost smells like leaves with zucchini bread. There's definitely like a spiced apple and like zucchini bread. I don't know. I'm going to have to give that one more time, I think, because I don't really smell peaches. This wax is breaking everywhere. And I don't smell anything that would be like, now I've never smelled something called vanilla butter fudge on its own. But I'll have to give it time. Yeah, I feel like I smell like spiced apples and zucchini bread. So yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, I like it. It's smelling less like leaves as I'm smelling it and more like a spiced, like poached apple almost and zucchini bread. So yeah, we'll have to see when it melts um, and if that vanilla fudge butter comes out. Anyways, that's it, you guys. That's all that my pre-order was. Two loaves, two brittle bags, and five of the small scoopables with two of them being the same scent. So for me, I did very, very well. Um, I think they all smell good. Obviously, I love Pazuzu. I was so happy to see La Llorona. Um, but man, you guys, let me tell you how much like hatchet just blew my freaking skirt up. And oh, I can't wait to melt that one. Um, I have a couple more days of work, so I really will probably melt it after that. But anyways, I wanted to get these out to you guys because um, I know that she's doing a restock uh, is it October 1st. Um, and I don't know if like these if the overpours of the pre-order are going to be in that or if that's going to be something separate, I don't know, but I wanted to bring these to you guys to show, share with you. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I am going to bed because my unisom is kicking in. Um, but I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.